yeah, we take a short rest, and I'm over there clowning on this fucking drow that's in the cell. Mm, you can, <laughs> Look at uh... you dumbass people. Alright, so you guys can take a rest here. And then... Are you gonna watch the just... doors? Are you gonna lock the doors? Are you gonna hope that nobody shows up? Lock the doors and watch them. Oh. Okay, well, Kitten and Half Pint think that they should get a vote on what weapons you guys actually use. On what they get to use in the game, not just weapons, spells, abilities, everything. You know, I think, nope. I think, I think, a hey, uh, both of you, ladies, I think if that's the case, you should get votes on what your own characters do in this game. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Without stabbing us, or, you know. Would you like to vote on what up. your character does in the game? Is that... Boundaries exactly. I think the boundaries should be around your characters and not inferring with, not interfering with theirs. I think that's boundaries. We're very supportive. I am aware of that, but there's boundaries. Supportive, like why haven't you thrown him over a cliff yet? That kind of supportive. Yeah, my first time ever being on a stream, playing people <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's that's nice. Yeah, just just kill me the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, welcome to the group. <laughs> <laughs> initiation bitch all right so <laughs> all right uh just to throw it out there resting guards locking doors whatever she said she gave you friends get over it um <laughs> damn called out this is on the internet that's awesome um yeah, no, thanks <laughs> yeah okay so uh you guys could can, can um kind of get out about you know you you get an hour's worth of rest um you're able to it's uh you're not sure when their guard change is supposed to be um so that's that's the risk right but uh you're able to get an hour hour of a short rest in uh you guys can go ahead and roll one of your hit dice and then add your constitution modifier and you can do you, that can you can roll your one hit die back Teddy. Damn. Uh, what did you roll to gain your hit points? A monk is die eight, right? So, uh, oh, yeah. So I roll your, back. roll it, and then add your con mod, and that's what you can restore after a short rest. Kitten said, "Wow, salty, so salty. A cliff by salt water would be a nice match." All right. So. Oh, it actually okay. Yeah, and you can okay. actually do that yeah. up to your number of hit dice before the next long rest. So, like, um, if you spent three this short rest and three next short rest, and you were a seven hit die creature, like you would be able to take one other short rest. But the next time you'd be able to do it, you'd only be able to heal one hit die plus your con mod, right? So. Yeah. Okay, so um, make sure you guys do that. Go ahead and adjust your hit points back on your character sheet. Man, this is crazy. She said you got salt. Just I'm not doing this. You know what? I'm not getting in between you two. Y'all can text this shit back and forth. No, but uh, also that's funny as shit. So I'm not going to tell him. You can tell him, but I want to read it. So just put it in chat, okay? Thanks. Okay, love ya. All right. Um... Okay, so the other, let's do this, select, move, can I, I should be able to, nope, I can't do that. Okay, I was hoping I could like group select a bunch of tokens and I can't. All right, so the other ones, <laughs> what up? Every time you guys do that, I have to stop for a second because I can't hear anything over my, okay. Uh, it's great. I just have to pause for a sec. Okay, so you guys accomplished short rest. You're at least outfitted with something, right? And you're not sure when the next guard shift is supposed to switch. Um, but the longer you wait here, obviously, the closer it's going to get. So, also, we're going to take a quick second in intermission, and I'm going to brag about my coffee mug. I got a Dungeon Master coffee mug from the D&D &D cartoon. Bet y'all never even knew there was a cartoon. It was like 1982. Okay. 
So, it's up to y'all. All right, did everybody in the, that was, you know, the members of the cave, did they get weapons? Uh, since we were like, hey. Yeah, what, what you guys didn't take, um, there should have been, so the only one out of your, like, party, the two of you, plus this dragonborn dude, uh, the only one that took a dagger was him, right? So she That's took a to short know. sword. There were five other daggers left. The two uh, deep gnomes took a dagger. And then uh, the um, orc that seemingly was, like, really, really hurt um, is lumbering. And he also took one of the short swords, and he's, like, been putting the chain mail on the chain shirt. <laughs> He still doesn't look like he's in fighting condition, but he kind of looks like he just wants up. to, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me open that room up for y'all. Okay. And All then, right. uh... In which direction did you say that the guards that we were looking for headed? Uh, the... Did they go towards high, or did they go up the stairs? Most of them, like, the Quagoths had moved down the stairs towards the prison and then out towards this tower. So most of them have headed, I guess, if you'd put north at the top of the map, like, to the uh, south-southwest across that bridge. And I'm seeing this staircase by ourselves go up to the right. It goes up it goes to... Up. up there, yeah. Bertas. You want to go up the stairs, or you want to go after the fucking other people? Um, They've never had you guys up there, either. You're not sure what's up there. Uh, I know. But you told me earlier that you, I kind of knew what was up there, because I, I cleaned those stairs and crap ton of times. <laughs> Hold out. <laughs> I've never played D&D &D with the audience before. This is great. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Repeat. So, what do you uh, what you follow on actions? My apologies. I said I thought you told me I kind of knew what was up up those stairs. Uh, kind, kind of, but you'd like never something. been like up up them, right? Like, there's a well, couple well, doors up here. There's a couple doors up here, but you don't know what they go to. So I tell him before I make a decision, I want to I want to cross back over to here. And okay. I'm going to just, I'm just going to cast light. Oh no, how do I, can I just dismiss light when I don't want to use it anymore? Yes. Well, I'm going to cast light just, just somewhere over there for like a half second, see if the spells still work. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm like, well, it seems like I can still use magic, so. Ido uh, takes a position over here. He's like, I'll, I'll keep an eye out here. I'd say this is probably the best time we're going to get with having a rear guard going up and looking, so might as well go up this way. Uh, He's down to follow you guys wherever you want to go, so... What do you think, Barathus? I'm down, I'm down to go. Half pint, get Google. I don't know what you're trying to say. Anyway, okay. He'll take up trail. He's letting you guys lead. He's like, I don't know where to go in here either, so... You seem to know each yes. other and work together well. Uh, I'll just ask Barathas to follow me. He's like, we just met Help two days ago. He's gonna... Alright, he'll post up by the door here while you're moving up the stairs. And then... So I see two room. different doors? It's just, it's just constrained. Yep. So, I see a tiny door and a bigger door? Yep. Do we flip a coin, heads or tails? Which one do we go into? What well, think, think about this. this. Think about this. We're going through all these doors, and you see a big door, which will probably lead to a bigger chamber, and a small door that's going to lead to a narrow, narrower area. So, for us to assemble a decent fighting force would be the big door, in my opinion. But if we wanted to continue single file, it would be a small door. Oh, well, if we do single file, I'm going from behind to, you know, 
cast magic behind you. Um, but I vote like you, you're probably a good idea. Let's go for the bigger door. Are we having some of the others follow us? Like the, uh, the dragon board was. Yeah, he's gonna follow you. What uh, about the, the they it seems like they took the daggers to have something. Like I they're very hard to read. They're very they're they're really um even since you met them, like I said, there was something off about them. Um they're still like kind of keeping to themselves even in this and they're not they don't seem like they're going to like follow orders or help you in a fight. Uh you're not really sure if you could even depend on them or not. So, um they kind of took them and we're like, "Nah, I'm I'm o over here. I'm good." So, I'll say this. Hey, if you want to leave, come with us. To the chopper. They're, uh, the, the dwarf reinforces. She's like, I'll, I'll keep them safe on rear guard. I expect to find her. Let's go. Face. Let's go. We got to go through the door. We got to, we got to fucking do this. Can I inspect the door before I try to open it? Uh, yeah, the big one? Yes. Sure. Um, so be on the and down a set of stone steps. You know, I swear that was an up, but that's okay. That's an up. Um, should I roll for perception? I have better sight, probably. I'm just trying to gather what you can guys get can get off the door versus, you know what I mean. Hold on one second. Uh Okay. Well, it's not a cage. It's it's a it's a wooden door that matches the rest of like the woodwork that you guys had seen in there. Um <laughs> Uh so it's it's like that same consistency, the same wood that the table was made out of and some other stuff. Uh it doesn't it's got a latch. It just swings open or closed. Um it doesn't Look like there's a lock from the outside of any mechanism, uh, like any mechanism from the outside. So, does it open towards us or? Uh, uh, it looks like it opens in. Okay. Uh, it opens uh, in with a uh, <laughs> left-sided hinge. Okay. Uh, I'll just slowly, very slowly, and as quietly as possible, try to. Open Actually, half pint. These details like kind of matter. It's not just a door. Okay, I so see. It could be slowly. a mimic. Okay. Very slowly, like. It's a mimic. It's no, I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> what's it mimicking? Another mimic. Dun, that dun, jumped on the door one day. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on, you're a human, right? I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, hey. no. No, no, no. I just realized this. He's the only one here without dark vision. Yeah. You guys let him lead. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead of him. Well, he's like directly behind me, so he can see. It's just a thought. Yeah, but you can't. And you're walking up a stair uh, you're walking <laughs> up a stairwell in a humid environment. Underground on rock. I'm just like, can you not see? It's plain as day. Okay. I mean, I could just. I can, I can well, just he can't. <laughs> he can't see. So that's cool. Blind motherfucker. How does your species even survive? Uh, well, I mean, you, you saw me guarding. You saw me, you know, smite the other guy, so you tell me. Although the drow know that you need light to be able to see, and they've been... So it's it's dimly lit in here. Um, can I see anything with the dimly litness? You can. Would you like to see what you can see? Without, hold, uh, up, like, hold up, hold up, hold up. With the dimly litness? I would litness? like to use my stealth to open the door. I'd be stealthy. He opened the door already. 
Well, we do have to. We can. We can retcon that because, like, I was. We were debating light. That's fine. You can be stealthy and open the door. Right. There it goes. Uh, one sec. So seventeen. Well, at least they're easier to hit. Anyway. Okay. Uh, sneakily. Sneaky. Oh, I can do this as a polygon. Okay, right, here we go. Boom. 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 boom Once boom, I got dark vision, boom, I can see, you know, what's going on. Boom. Boom. That stealth boom, going. Boom. Hopefully, we don't get fucked. Boom. Yeah, take it. All right. Uh, okay. There are. You're being stealthily and stuff. Why don't you roll a stealthily check? I did. Did I you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't have the chat box up. I was looking at creatures and shit. Death save perception. I mean, how much? I were you trying to figure out which one to roll? No, it didn't pop up. So I was like, it didn't roll. So I put another oh, okay. one in there and then it finally rolled as i was like clicking to pull and throw it you're good yeah, you're no. good we'll take the first one that 17 popped up that's fine um that sinister laugh in the background hold on I can't. Okay. I can't with you right now. All right. Uh <laughs> Not you guys, them, them. They're just ridiculous. Okay. Uh cool. So I'm going to roll one check for both of them. I'm going to have passive perception of fail. Uh they will have a passive perception of fail. And um there are two creatures inside the room that are, Let's see if I can get a good description for them. They look like drow. No, they're, um, well, we got one on our cage with us. So wouldn't we know what they would be? Yes, you would. They are, uh, if, well, if the other guy is to be believed, he's, they're, they're all elven princes. Um, they are of a race <laughs> called Quagoth, however. Stealth mode won't even help. It's not a button you push on, okay? You don't just turn on stealth mode. It's not a, we're not like SR-71s and shit over here. Alright, uh, so, they are, um, creatures of the Underdark. Whee! But there's two of them in there, and they haven't seen you yet, because you're being all sneaky and shit. Do I see anything in there? Uh, You can see, like, silhouettes. You can see there, there's something in there moving around. Do I see Actually, this I place... Actually, this room wouldn't be lit, because they all have dark vision, and you don't, and they you haven't had to be in here yet, because these quarters have not been cleaned. So... I think they have dark vision. They should. They live in the underdark. But then I'm just gonna wait out. Yeah, they have dark vision. Mm -hmm. Tell me what he sees. Okay. Less than half pint. I'm a tabaxi, you know, I got them, them pads on my feet that, like, dim the sound, alright? He's a furry, alright? I swear to God, <laughs> I will destroy you. <laughs> I see you tomorrow, motherfucker, so, uh... I'm moving. Calm down. <laughs> I said I'm moving, she about killed me, I thought she was gonna throw something at me for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
They didn't see you. They haven't done anything. It's on you. All right, I'm gonna go back and tell them what I saw. All right. Sorry. Tell them what you saw. Hey guys, uh, you know that one dude who looks really ugly and kind of like fucked up in the face area? Which one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the mushroom here. <laughs> no, no, no. The mushroom's okay. He's, he's, he's All you dope. can hear in your head is, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. I'm whispering. Must have good fucking hearing. Plus, <laughs> you know, I sneaked back out the door, you know. Alright. You there. Your brethren are in the other room. You think you can convince, uh, convince them, Mr. Elf Prince, to fucking let us go? Other, <laughs> he speaks Elvin. All right, I grab him and drag him <laughs> a fucking long. <laughs> <clears throat> this could work out very interestingly. Okay. Dra Dragon uh, I'm gonna have him peek in the door since he has dark vision too, so little bitch. He says uh something in Elvish. You're not sure what he says. And then uh He follows you. Okay. Comes up there. Alright. Show him his people. Yeah. Woohoo. You what? Well, what? Come on, man. Don't leave me suspense. <laughs> yeah. He turns around and shanks you. Um. <laughs> this is interesting. So he, uh, he comes in, and at first he, he wonders. He's not sure why you're sneaking. Um, Bertaz, who seemed to have understood him earlier, uh, he asks an elvish, what's going on? He's trying to be quiet because he's not really understanding the, the situation yet. Um, but he asks you what's going on. And uh, he kind of waits for some clarification before he moves any further. Make sure you let the dragonborn give him some birth and kind of, he's staying right here. Can you... I give him a brief rundown of, uh, there's two guys inside, we're trying to identify them. Would you mind helping, uh, the frog one out? <sighs> the cat. Why, I don't know anyone here, why would I... Are there other elves here? He seems to think you might know them. Just humor him, please. Tell us what your elf eyes see. Certainly. So he comes up and he clears this corner. <gasps> he, uh... He starts to stress. It's dimly lit. We covered this already. It's it's dimly lit. All right. It's just yeah, enough so that the dark. humans, the the stairs. It's it's the room is not lit. Oh. That that I'm oh. sorry. In chat, half pints over here. Like I thought, I couldn't see anything. Like the stairs are lit, so he can sweep the floors. But the inside the room in here, no, there's no light. It's 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 dim because um, like some light kind of came in, but like all he was able to see is like silhouettes. He can't see detail in there. This guy comes up, who has dark vision, and looks in. <clears throat> and in his stressed out, holy shit, over in over his head, not understanding the situation, but he thinks he's an elf, so he's not quite ready for two actual Quagoths in the room. And he gets extremely like, 
no, we must, we have to go the other way. No, and in his like rushing, he's actually a little louder than you want him to be. He starts to panic and tips off the two that are in the room. Fuck. My sentiments exactly. Everybody roll initiative. Okay, so Veritas is 10.5, Barathas 14.18. All right. Uh, Rag 1, 9, Rag 2, 19, Ito. Oh, that was supposed to be as Ito. Sorry. That's okay. Seven plus. So seven. And Prince Dorelli, Derendil, Derendil, Prince Derendil rolls a whopping four. At least his panic will cause the least amount of damage by going last. Okay. Uh, I rolled the Quagoths at nine. Uh, 14, Barathus, you're first. You see the Quagoths had turned, and now, like, because you have the same, right, you have dark vision, you can't see color or anything, everything's black and white, but you can make out enough detail, it's very obvious that they are uh, surprised and now infuriated that someone's in their quarters. I know the first one hits for six damage on, we'll name him. Make the one on top is number one. The one on bottom is number two. It's fine. Uh, and the armor class is, yeah, you just missed the bottom one. Or you just missed your unarmed strike, but the other one, uh, I'm sorry, this is the first one hit. Is that unarmed or is that with a sword? Uh, with a sword. Okay, because you click unarmed strike on the first one, and it bludgeoning damage. I'll take the roll, but are you using a sword, or is it un unarmed? Just just do unarmed strike. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, and Veritas, you're up next. I'm going to, you know, I hear the commotion, I assume, right? Yeah. Uh, did you move closer? Hey, real quick, Barathas, where'd you move to? Ah. Gotcha. Thank you. Forgot I saw a draw on. Where'd you go away? Uh, uh. Okay. I don't know. There we go. I don't know why it popped the box up instead of your token, but we'll, whatever. Weird. I know. Okay, uh, yeah, Bertaz, I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, so I kind of hear a commotion. I'm going to, I guess, open the door, seeing as I can't see anything and I don't know where my buddy's at, or fellow prisoner. I'm just going to let's see what can I do. You're opening which door, I'm sorry? The big one. Oh, the dude, one sorry. Going through. Yeah, it's already open. Oh, I thought. Okay, it's open, so I can I I can't see anything in there really, right? No, not really, not right now. Okay. Um. Are there any rocks near me? Can you solve that problem? I'm going to assume there's a rock near me that I can just pick up, yeah, cast sure. light on, and throw in there. Oh yeah, yeah sure. You should be able to. Uh, oh, it's only an object. I'm sorry. You used to be able to cast light on an area. Now you can't. Okay. That's why I was asking. Yeah, got it. No, no, no. I got you. I got you. 
Hold on, I gotta clarify for me too. I'm sorry. Okay. Sheesh. Oh. That's it. He falls off the cliff. No. Uh. Yeah. You can get a rock and do that. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh. So there is a sudden burst of light inside the room. The room is all of like twenty-five feet or something like that. I think. Um. Let's do this. Why is it? Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Twenty-five feet across. Yeah. It's more than enough to light up the whole room. Okay. Room's lit. Yeah, you can see. Completely functional. I mutter, oh shit, and I guess that's my turn. <laughs> it is. You can move. You get a move action if you want to. Uh, I'm going to stand, like, right, 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 right there. I don't want to stand in front of the other door. Okay. It's probably a good idea. Okay. The, uh... Okay. Uh sorry. I lost I was reading some hang on six characters right now. Uh the Quagoth's turn is now. They are Wow. Okay, two claw attacks. Natural weapons, so it's not a big deal. Then get multi attack. Uh, what's your armor class, Parathus? Fifteen. Fifteen, right? Yep. Three points. One claw missed. The second one follow up. Runs right across your uh, upper shoulder. That's the first one. The second one sees a threat in the door. He would imagine that's a threat in the door. He's going to go right by Barathus. Technically, he's not taking a disengage action um, because then he wouldn't be able to move and attack. So you can take an attack of opportunity. Fuck yeah. Now what would that be? Hmm? You said just, attack of opportunity, right? Yep, just an attack just with whatever weapon track. you have out. Just if it's unarmed, it's unarmed. If you got a sword out, sword out. It's fine. Eleven does not hit. Damn it. Um, okay. So now it's his turn to get all up on your ass. Push in, push in! <laughs> Get that ass. No, not, no, no, no. Okay, whatever. He's trying to delete the two or move the two. So he's going to do that. And a... Damn. What is it with you? Me? What's your armor class? A 18 now. This dude just oh, rolled yeah. a... Oh yeah, hold up. Wait, what is uh... I have chainmail on. You have a chain shirt. Think... There was not chainmail. There's chain a difference shirt, when you look it up. But you know what I mean. Yep. Oh, well... Wait, what's the difference in AC then? Yeah, so... <sighs> DM's Guide. Player's Handbook. Chapter 5. boop a doop What the fuck was that? Magic. Uh, chain shirt is 13 plus dex modifier, maximum 2. So you're going to get a maximum of 15 armor class out of it, out of wearing it. Okay, hold on. Let me. All right, so it's useless for me, right? Yeah, I mean, you're naturally a 15, right? Yeah. Okay, I go down to a 17 instead of an 18 then. Okay, uh, he rolled an 11 and a 12. So, Whoop. cool. Okay. The game knows I'm squishy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Ito works his way 
up to take care of this. Also to block, get me behind, he, he humors me, get behind me, your highness. And, da 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 oh wait, it's on his character sheet, I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting I have one for him. Alright, uh, slots total. Boom. Nine to hit. Wow, he missed. Damn, that's a hell of a spell to miss, too. Alright, uh, so his turn is done. And now it is... Prince Durellin... Durendil, uh, he is he is going to withdraw. He's he, he's uh, those of royal blood should not have to shed that of others or some bullshit. He says while he's going as he's he is ain't crying in Elven. All right, uh, and it's back up to Barathus. Let's try sword sword again. Missed. You gonna take your unarmed bonus or no? Okay. There it is. Hit. Solid hit. Can't hit him with a sword. But I'll punch this asshole to death. Alright. Good shit. Uh, next up is Veritas. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to aim for the one that's been being beat up on by Brathos. It's the one in Maybe. front of him, so. Yeah. Okay. Gotta Sacred Flame, DC 14. Uh, let's see his saves are... Nil, so it's just a straight dex save, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, yes. Just barely, dude. There we go. All right. He's hurting. And... They're up first, or next, so, uh, first, huh. okay, um, wow, these guys are ragey, how is this a first level adventure, I'm down with it though, but holy shit, alright, um, no idea how we're alive, uh huh, <laughs> I don't, I'll be honest, I don't know either. Um, alright. The god of Molenway assists us. Yeah. He loves the fire I have been providing. The wounded one claws at the monk up front. Does a, does a, 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 a does a, um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 19 plus 5, 24 hits, right? Okay. Five points of damage. Five points me? of damage, yep. Uh, Claire, can I get a little help here? I got one help left. Uh, I didn't regain any spell slots during our rest. I, I'm, I'm... Uh, I can what now? Them. Oh, that's right, you don't, do you? No. Oh. That's the only reason I'm doing cantrips, though. I can't. Yeah. I got nothing. Okay. Uh, You're on your own, pal. Hmm. The, uh... Alright, other Quagoth. Let's see. Um... Attacks? Does your... Your warding thing, is that a long rest or a short rest when it comes back? Oh, it's a long rest. That's why I haven't used it. Okay. I'm out. I'm out of everything but cantrips at this point. Okay. Armor class is what? 17. He's got a 15 and a uh, 
16. Double miss. Oof. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, Ito's turn. He comes up. He can't believe he missed with that other spell. Um, but he's burned both his first level slots now. Right? Mm, no. He should. That's total slots. What's his per day? This sheet's not. Okay, spells. No, it's spell slots per slip level. Number of. Um. Number of, t number of fucks he gave is zero. Well, don't say that. <laughs> so it's, it's Ito's turn again? Yeah, one sec. I thought Barathus and I went before him. You did. Okay. Then the Quagoth hit him. He asked you to heal him. You said you didn't have any. We had this diatribe about magic, and then the other one hit you, and now it's Ito's turn. Okay. My bad. My brain's No, you're good. Out of it. No, don't worry about it. Why is it not, like, spells per... Oh, okay. Never mind. All right, well, he burned that. Sucks to be him. Uh, Acid Splash is... Okay. Cool. He's going to roll Acid Splash against the far one because he's the wounded one. DC 14 save for 5 damage. He only gets a plus 1 to his modifier. Rolls a 7 and that is five points of damage, 24. Okay. All right, cool. Um, and then uh, Barathus, your turn. Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. My bad. The orc from uh, behind, what's her name? Eldeth. I'm sick of sitting on my ass as he like lumbers into the room. Um, I figure out which one he is. Oh, there he is. All right, let's character sheet up. And he is going to come in and he's got uh. He grabbed one of those short swords. Uh, and... He's going to roll at a disadvantage. Because he's injured. Um, and also, I have to change this really quick because I have something else ducked out for him. So we're going to do this. While you're doing that, I'm sorry, I was half paying attention. Did the acid splash, splash hit him or not? Uh, it did. I added the damage. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay, so. So sick of sitting on my ass as he, like, barely lumbers in here to do anything. Um, but. I keep closing all these windows and need them open. Thirteen to hit, I think that actually misses, but No, that hits. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that what's that plus two from. D six. Okay, and then uh, he just came up. That was after Ito's turn, right? He missed. Yeah. Yep. 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 So he goes on a five, and then we're good. So top of the order, Barathus.
Barathus. Yeah, With... that hit. Yeah, I did. Alright. 30. Damn! Done. Okay. You hit him, and he flies into a rage. You just... And he starts frothing, and he just, like... Just... He almost stands six inches taller when you hit him on this time. And he is just raging, waiting to hit you. Veritas. Um, I, I noticed that this guy is, is getting a little furious. So I... Sacred Flame him. Eight plus... What I say his mod was? It was nine. one, right? Plus one. One from his dex. Okay. Nine. Takes seven points of damage. Yes. Drops. Yeah. That's the best. That's the best help I can give you. <laughs> okay. Um. It is his turn. The one that's left. Uh, and he is going to. Damn. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh. He wants out, so he's going to attack at both of you in front of the door uh it's gonna miss Bertaz, but he hits Ido with a 18 plus 20 with a 23 and does what seven points of damage to Ido. Who has seven hit points? Okay. All right. It's a good opportunity to look this up because we haven't done this yet. I haven't done this in a while. So I am going to look up. We're going to do. He's a set zero points, which makes him unconscious. We're going to look up death save anyway. 97. Damage at zero hit points, 197. So we're going to review this real quick. Okay. Uh, whenever you start your turn with zero hit points, special saving throw a 10 or higher on a d20. Okay. Three successes in a row and you gain one hit point back, so you're not... Or wait. Uh Oh, you just become stable. Okay. Got it. Okay, so that was the Quagos turn. So it would have gone next. He's unconscious and zero. It is the uh injured half orc's turn. And he is going to attack with his short sword. Taking Wait, I, I'm I'm knocked out right now. No, not you. Uh, Ito is. Ito? Rolls a 13 on a disadvantage. Still hits for 7 points. 13. And top of the order, it is Barathus. Alright, let's do it again. We're gonna keep doing this shit until he's fucking destroyed. Thirteen. Holy shit. Twenty-one damage total from the looks of it. Yep, twenty-one da twenty-one damage total. Holy fuck. Awesome. That same rabid look that the other one got, he just and he just like seems like he muscle ups, like he grows ten percent and uh well he's not dead yet, so half pint but we'll get there just hang out you'll see so uh he is um yeah he just starts again just frothing up and just getting almost rabid and 
And okay, it's okay. uh Bertaz's turn. Uh, go for the usual. Sacred flame. Burn and in roll to save. Too. I keep forgetting I can I, I have to type it in here. It's easier to roll the dice, but I'd rather you guys like see this real quick. Twelve to save. Two points. All right. Uh, he's up. It's two attacks. First one. Seventeen plus five. I didn't even declare who he's attacking, so I guess those rolls are null and void. Uh, again, I guess we're going to do, he's, he's, again, he's hurt. He's trying to get out. He doesn't want to be cornered. So, uh, he's already cornered <laughs> literally. Against yeah. The and he doesn't want to be, so he's going to like literally try to rage and destroy his way out the front door, whether it's through, uh, Bertaz or whether it's through the new guy that just showed up this injured half orc who's just lumbering through this battle so first attack at advantage 16 plus 5 is 21 at, er, at Bertaz second one is going to be at the orc at 16 plus 5 is 21 uh, right and left although he does that he's so panicked he, he hits but he's barely able to do any damage uh, although in that rage mode he does extra. So he hits Bertaz for an increased two points of damage. Um, meanwhile, uh, six plus five. Let me check this as hit points. Hold on a second. I got to look at this character sheet. I the maybe. Half just split in half. Oh, no. No, no, no. Well, he was already injured, so he was at that. But he's, he's, he's hurt a lot. He's hanging on, but barely. So he's in. Um, Yep. Meanwhile, this Quagoth is just like uh, raging out. Uh, so that was his turn. Now it's the orc's turn, the half orc's turn. He's going to fight. And he's going to attack. Oh, uh, sorry. It's actually Ido's turn to try to save. Hold on a second. Roll one die. 20. 13. He's. he's no longer dying he's stable at zero uh yeah the orc half orc i'm sorry the half orc is gonna roll to hit 13 to oh 10 to hit he missed okay uh and then back up it's not varathus's turn as the door opens behind you and the guard that was in the guard tower Works his way out as he had heard the fighting. Oh shit! Aha! Not after me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and sees <laughs> Ido on the ground, the half orc barely hanging on. He's not worried about those two. Bertaz, what are you at for hit points? Nine. Awesome. And I don't mean the German word. <laughs> Seven to, I'm sorry, seven plus. That's, the, it's, it gets modifiers, I forgot. You can keep forgetting, it's okay. Oh, can I? <laughs> and he still only rolled 11, so he missed. All right. Okay. Uh... You know what never came up? We'll yeah. get to it after this. Don't worry about it. It's not critical right now. All right. Uh, so now it's Bar now it's Barathus' turn. Barathus turn. It's not ominous. You know what we forgot? Oh, never mind. It's not <laughs> it'll, it'll come up later. <laughs> yeah, just worry about it when you're half dead. Mm-hmm. Hey. Missed. I'm seeing a 19 on my screen, dumb bitch. Oh, the second one hasn't loaded yet. All I see is an 8. So if it doesn't come up with a 19, I know you're cheating. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, man. 
Eleven's a miss. I'm sorry. <laughs> you try so hard and get so Ver much. Veritas, it's, it's, it's your turn. <laughs> I know that you have fine. This is how I build drama. I'm gonna do the unexpected and sacred flame. And what? Sacred flame. Sacred flame. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> I, 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 I know. <laughs> Holy shit. And my attack just like... At least he, at least he rolled that on a save and not on an attack roll. Yes. Alright. Uh... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, uh-huh. Well, now... Uh... He's going to follow suit. And again, just in his rage, trying to get out. Bear toss first. Sixteen. Nope. And uh, yep. And uh, three into three. The other one's missed too. He is just. He's, so he's killing it. Lying. He's killing it. He might be. It might be himself. But he's killing it. Uh, <laughs> Ito is stable, still unconscious at zero, and uh, let's see. Roll. Roll to save the group. 13 to hit. Hits. 5 points of damage. 41. Finishes him off. And now we are worried about the drow. Whose turn is now? Uh, <laughs> mercilessly. <laughs> Roll to hit. Again. Against Veritas. Because he's right in front of him. I'm getting you dice. <laughs> no, I'm liking these rolls. I'm getting new dice. All right. Uh, Barathus, you're up. Well, I can't get around, can I? So I'm just going to be stuck here in the back. Uh, well, you can move through and occupy the friendly space. Um, it was on the ground. You can't just, you can't just, you just can't stay there. So, like, you could move to there if you want. Yeah, to there if you wanted to. We all know where I'm going. <laughs> Good luck. God damn it. Did you just jump? Oh, he's in there. <laughs> he's like, I'm out. I have one health left, so. I actually was responding to a message. We killed the one drow, right? The last, the one, the one okay. that wasn't. Okay. Here's behind us. here's here's the way that works, right? You moved into his space. Now, if all you do is move through and buy, He's you got an opportunity right. right now. If you take the five foot disengage, which is the conscious, intentional dodge your bullshit, you're only gonna go five feet away, but you'll get out of his range, and you will not take an attack. Or you can sit there and give him another opportunity to hit you. Because the orc is not going to be able to move into range either. Look at chat. I know. I was aware. I was I was watching it. I just didn't have an answer If yet. I'm going down, I'm going down. Not a bitch. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Cool. So you moved in. And are you going to attack? You're going to attack. Awesome. I'm sorry. I got three chats going on. I got Discord and then stream chat and then this chat. Okay, cool. Uh, 23. Holy shit, bro. 13 damage. Hold on. Hold on. Uh. <sighs> 13 damage. Fuck yeah. I know I know twenty three and twenty definitely hits. Oh, he got deleted? He got deleted. Yeah. That's a real monk of style. Just walks up to you and just casually and sassily just fucks you up. 
Okay. Awesome. Okay, so uh, one more encounter down. So we're down. Can we take another short rest? <laughs> well, hold on. Before we go any farther, can I, like, start looting those corpses? See if there's anything in there of use. Which is what you guys did not do earlier. That was what I was yeah, like. Yeah, I, I totally didn't think about that. <laughs> Actually, no. Remember that one guy I killed and I took a short sword? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, so. Sure. The, uh, the Quagoths don't have anything on them. The Drow, however, has a short sword, another hand crossbow, and a chain shirt. I'll take the crossbow. Okay. And is there a, can I search the room too, or when I was searching the bodies, did I also search the room? Uh, yeah, you can search through the room. Do I need to roll an investigation? Uh, you just looking to see what's around, or what are you looking for? Anything of use, anything at all. Okay. Um, cool. Then I'm going to give you a cursory look of the room, unless you're looking for something specific. Something that might help our monk not die. Okay, yeah, that's not an investigation. That's not anything. That's I'm going to look around the room and, okay. and see. Uh... Okay. Uh... It, uh... Yeah, it's like a lot of debris... Um, rocks, uh, there's a couple plates, like possibly some, um, there's some tattered clothing, uh, a lot of like scattered bones, um, as you're looking at them, they're like, uh, extremely long femurs, and by extremely long, I mean they're not like rats or chickens or anything, they look about, oh, I don't know, about, People sized in like rib cages and yeah, so there's also like goat skeletons and livestock and it just looks looks like old meals they just piled in the corner. Um, as far as anything else, not much. The uh, other is, is there any healing items? No. What I will do is I'll give you the other door that you noticed was there. Um. There was a, uh, what the heck? Oh, okay, that's what that is. Um, there was the other drow that was in that room, and it's just kind of a, uh, there's a table and, like, an opening in the, the stalactite, the rock that overlooks the pool uh, down below. And um, what we can do is we'll do this. It's not going to give you much as far as, like, healing or anything like that, but it'll open some map stuff up for you guys. So... Scream at the top of my lungs, what's going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Sorry, just quick party break, you know. I said hey. Alright. What's going on? All right, all right, we chill, we chill, we chill. Let's get, let's get back to we'll, we'll go, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, so Ito's lying on the floor, completely unconscious. Um, this dude who just like has not said much is just kind of here. Now he's all beat up too. And uh, yep. I need a short rest. I need something where I can heal myself in some. Yeah. Some well, way. While he's resting, I'm going to see if I can help tend to the wounds of Ito and the uh, half fine. orc. Um, roll a healing check. Healing check? Yeah, for the one doing the healing. Sorry, Veritas. Um, you, do they, do you, you mean 
Medicine? Uh, medicine check. Yeah, it used to be healing. It's the same. Yep. Ten. Okay. Nice. Uh, it's good enough. We're gonna give. It's so is gonna get one hit point back. So you're basically able to bring him back to consciousness. Like he's not in any shape to fight. On that. He's not in any shape to fight, but uh, he's he's alive. So. Okay. Okay. Do I help the other one at all? Uh. I yeah. I mean, there's no actual mechanic for that. He's alive and he's well. He just he needs actual okay. either healing or medicine or like a spell okay. or magic. He just basically like. Ido was unconscious. I don't want you to have to drag him through the dungeon. Like, here, do something and wake him up. Like, basically, give him some smelling salts or something, right? Like, the equivalent yeah. of that. Not that you have any, just the equivalent of that, you know what I mean? I just kick him real hard to wake him up. <laughs> uh, and do three points of bludgeoning damage, knock him unconscious, and he's now dying. Um... Okay. All right. Tell you what. Um, not that we have to break the adventure. I'm down to play for as long as you guys are down to play for. It's Friday. It's, it's Saturday night. What day is it? Saturday night. Saturday. I'm good to keep going for whatever. I'm going to take a sec. i got to take the dog outside real quick, and I'm going to refill coffee. So. All right.